in this video i am going to discuss about the mat foundation so just i am going to create the run structure go for the run structure wizard and create a structure here so or else if you have if you are having any structure you can try with the mat foundation so i am just going to take length as 15 and the height as 50 and width is 12 here so for length i am going to give 5 divisions and uh, i will just give the same values and click on apply close this one and yes click on ok so we got the structure like this g plus 4 structure and just going for general and we need to define the properties there so i'm going to define the properties as uh, 0 0.45 by 0 0.23 and click on add and similarly here 0 0.3 by 0 0.23 for beams click on add and close so just going for uh, rectangular beam and you can go for select select beams parallel to y and assign to selected beams and assign similarly i have to assign this for beams just go for beams parallel to y and we can go for inverse beam selection here or else you can go for x and y selection x and y direction of beams so click on add and next going for support click on create fixed support add and select the support to just go for the front view and select all the bottom nodes assigned to selected nodes assign and yes so next one is uh, loads and definition i'm just going to create dead load and live load here and i, I will be creating combination in stat foundation so this is like dead load dl and click on add here and similarly i want to add the live load so just change it for live load and click on add close so under load case one dl i will be adding self weight add and i want to add the floor load also something around minus 3 kN per meter square taking at 3 and 15 so the starting level will, will be 3 and if you want to define different loads for different heights then you can go for this option so the starting height is 3 here and the ending height is 15 total height, height is 15 so just i am giving from the first floor to the last floor and you can click on add the floor load will be added here and close self weight just select the self weight and assign to view assign and yes similarly uh, yeah the floor load has been assigned directly so go for live load click on add and select the floor load here and assign the required floor load so suppose minus 2 kN per meter and 3 to 15 you can assign different loads for different floors so after this i won't create any combinations here let us create these combinations in math foundation we need to run the analysis here click on all and add close so you can check whether all the models i mean all the sections has been applied or not in the render view so i'm just closing this window and click on analyze run analysis and save so the analysis is being processed here so if there are no errors we can proceed for the math foundation through the stack foundation software so click on uh, foundation design here and include all the uh, load cases we have created there like this we can create wind load and uh, seismic load also I have created dead load and live load for understanding so run start foundation so this for software will be open with all the column positions and the loading coming on the columns represented by the support numbers so you can see the all the columns coming here you can uh, simply click on the zoom all option here the toolbar will be similar to stat pro and if you want to go for top view click on top view and just go for uh, zoom all here or else you can just use the magnify here and all the co uh, column positions has been given here if you want to check the positions you can go for foundation plan and column position you are going to get the coordinates for all the columns here okay and next we need to generate the loads uh, load combination so click on load uh, loads and factors click on generate load combination and choose the load combination table as indian here generate load combination okay and similarly just go for ultimate load combination also and you can click on uh, click on ok and close this window just go for job setup click on create a new job give the job job name suppose matt and I want to change the job name to job type to mat and design code is Indian code. So the units will be changed to SI unit and assigned to all, all supports. I'm just going to include all the loads and you can go for create job here and expand the mat foundation job. 
there are default properties to be given there so thickness of this slab uh, slab design thickness and we need to upgrade the uh, we need to give this upgrade modulus here so just i'm going to take something around 16000 after soil testing you will be getting these values or you can just uh, uh, take this value as per the requirement or you can calculate with respect to bearing capacity of the soil also and soil density uh, how much uh, the soil density is there you have to provide these all the properties here and next we need to go for the mesh generation option expand the add mesh, re uh, mesh regions and click on add rectangular region so I have taken this as uh, 15 this total length was 15 and this is 12 right and I want to uh, give some extra overhanging like 1 meter so I am just going to provide coordinates somewhere here of minus 1 and minus 1 so default the columns are located at 0 comma 0 so I, from the center line I want to uh, give 1 meter overhanging so I have chosen minus 1 and minus 1 since this total length is 15 if you are opening this tab pro and from the top view if you are seeing this will be total 15 length from here to here and just we need to add one uh, left and right one plus 1 meter and plus 1 meter so total length will be of 17 right so just provide the 17 length and width is uh, uh, 12 plus 2 that is 14 and click on add region and then you can go for uh, meshing setup and you have to select the outline and just you have to give the region identifier suppose i'm going to give mat again and click on add you can see that under meshing setup the mat region identifier has been added select this mat that is region identifier and click on generate mesh okay if you want you can change the uh, unit type here so let it be 12 inches and go for quadrilateral meshing and click on ok and automatically we can see that uh, meshing has been generated for the raft foundation or the mat foundation here and after that we have to go for the analysis properties and under slab uh, thickness we got 0.3 meters if you want to change you can update that value so for soils uh, property we need to use the soil upgrade modulus so just activate that value and soil height above the foundation how much soil height you need you can give there for example i'm going to give 1.2 meters and expand the math slab analysis so just go for analyze and do you want to analyze click on yes and it takes some time to analyze the foundation there so after analysis we can go for the design so the analysis is being processed you can check at the bottom side of the screen So after the analysis we will be getting the tabulated results here it is just loading there. So at bottom we got the results so simply you can expand this you can see the displacements and displacement summaries etc. Okay so place stresses etc. And after getting the analysis results without any errors then you can go for output view options and if you want to see the stresses or soil pressure you can go for the place stresses for example. Select the stress type you want to say. Uh, for example, I want to see the moment in x direction, okay, and in z direction, okay. You can see the stress distributions there, and the color contours are indicating the values at left side of this legend, okay. This is the uh, legend indicating the values. And if you want to see the maximum absolute pressure, you can see that here. And if you want to observe the soil pressure, you can observe the soil pressure, how the pressure has been distributed. So we can see that. The soil pressure is more at the uh, center of, I mean, center columns. Okay. So, after observing this, we need to go for uh, moment envelope generation. So, we need to create the moment envelope generation. And you can create in along x direction or z direction. Okay. So, select the direction you want to create. And uh, you can use all the load cases or you can go for only ultimate load cases. So, let us use all load cases and click on generate moment envelope. And it is creating the stress envelope or the moment envelope for the given mat foundation. And after creating this, just go for the design parameters and you have to give the steel grade, whatever the grade of steel you want to use there and the grade of concrete, okay. And uh, whatever the cover you want to provide there, minimum bar size and maximum bar size. I am updating the minimum bar size to 12. 
and the spacing between them i want to give the spacing as 300 and just you can click on design and the design will be processed and after this if you want to observe the summary just click on result summary and for longitudinal top and bottom similarly transfer stop that is perpendicular to this longitudinal direction so what is the moment generator and how much area of steel uh, required is given there and what is the load condition or load case uh, consider for this design summary okay obviously for designing the worst case will be considered so 201 is the worst case here and click on ok you can go for details report and uh, you can see the reinforcement longitudinal and transverse reinforcement if you want to observe the top longitudinal you can go for xyz positions and moment generated there and area of steel required and what is the load case generated for different uh, positions there and punching shear uh, results also and you can see that design status is showing as a pass here okay so the punching shear at different corners has been generated and the service test taken there and just you can close or you if you need you can print the results there and after that you can go for reinforcement zoning uh, choose this slab face whether you want to create for longitudinal top or longitudinal bottom transfer top or transfer bottom Whatever you need, you can check there and prefer zone reinforcement count 3 or 4. So, if I need 4, you can give the 4 also. So, right now, I am just going to create longitudinal top and click on create zone. And the zone has been created here. And uh, you can click on zone report. So, there are 3 different zones and the moment acting is only 22.039. There are no 2 and 3 zones for this one. And you can see the area of steel required and area of steel provided. Okay. So bar detail if fail to find. No problem. So click on OK. So you can go for longitudinal and transfer stop, etc. And just click on create zone. Okay. And you can check for zone report again. Okay. So here for first zone it has failed to find, but for second zone and third zone it is showing the 12 and 16 at 150 and 180 center to center spacing here. Okay. So you can just zoom in this one and you can see the different zones where the uh, steel, I mean, where the reinforcement has been provided. Okay. And after this, you can go for cut slab by line. Okay. If you want to just design for a section, then you can go for this option. Okay. Either you can specify the coordinates or you can just go for insert a new cut line. And wherever you want to provide, just go for the top view and select the line or the strip there. And automatically the cut line has been provided here and whatever the number of plates available there that will be listed here. And then go for design selected line. You will be getting a graph like this moment envelope graph. Okay. For required reinforcement area it will be, uh, yeah, it will be showing after design. Okay. So you can go for set design parameters. Whatever the parameters you need you can just provide it here. I am going to provide the minimum bar size as well. And maximum spacing I want to provide 300 mm and click on OK and click on design and automatically this will this graph will be adjusted here. Okay. And for the strip which we have considered there, uh, what is the element? The element is nothing but plate and its positions and bottom or top face and what is the moment uh, produced there and what which load case is considered there and area of steel provided there. Okay. So this is required uh, reinforcement area. If you want to design for a strip, you can go for this one. And after this, you can go for moment capacity check. Yeah. So here the grade of steel is 415. Again, bar size is 12. You can go for plot capacity diagram. Okay. So this is indicating that 36.0032 for moment capacity. We got the same color. And we can go for moment uh, plot moment diagram. Okay. So actual moment coming on this is this one and total capacity of the raft was uh, this one 36.03 but actually we are going to get different moments on the raft due to the column load. So hence we can say that our raft foundation is safe here and if there is any failure it can go for plot uh, failure diagram. Okay. So in this way we can check the raft foundation and you can go for calculation sheet here. And you will be getting the uh, detailed calculation for the raft foundation. Okay. Whatever the input we have provided, that input will be generated. And after that, you are going to get the uh, calculation sheet here. Okay. So, this is all about the raft foundation or the mat foundation in the stack foundation.